Welcome back to JNS Daily Drives, everyone. My name is Jacob, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Kia Sorento SXL. In today's video, we're going to go over the exterior as well as the interior, talk about what this car is like to drive, and see how it handles this crazy snow that we got last night in Calgary. So the Kia Sorento of 2019 has been completely redesigned. It has a nice new body style that I think looks much better than the previous generation. If you follow me to the front here, we have a huge gaping front end. We have the nice fog lights down below as well as some beautiful LED headlights there along with the Kia Classic grill, radar assisted cruise control down there as well as parking sensors all around to help with your parking because this is quite a large vehicle. Now if we come to the side of the Kia Sorento, the SXL comes with these 19 inch wheels, which I think make the car look that much better. You know, when a big SUV has really small wheels, it just doesn't make it look very good, especially when you have so much rubber and a lot less wheel. But this, this looks good. All wheel drive badging as well. As you can see, this is quite a large car. Obviously this is the L, meaning that it has seven seating capabilities. I think the overall side profile is pretty good looking for a big SUV, considering some of the other options out there for such a large car. Now you move on to the rear of the Kia Sorento where it is a bit, bit dirty, but you know, we got a lot of snow last night. We have a really large rear end here. I don't, I don't think it looks that bad, to be honest with you. I think some people think it's pretty ugly, but I don't think it looks all that bad. With the nice single exit exhaust down there as well. SXL V6, we'll talk about the V6 later on in the video. Let's go ahead and find out how much cargo space this car actually has. A lot of camera gear back there. Obviously we have some Kia parts as well, but it's huge. It's absolutely massive and that's nothing less than what you would expect from a car with seven seats. Right here will be the actual cargo space of the rear of the car with the seats folded normally like that. And then right here will be with the seats completely folded down. As you can see, crazy amount of space. Can't really get back there right now because there's a lot of stuff, but crazy space. That's all I gotta say. Now let's talk a little bit about what powers this massive monster. So that's a 3.3 liter V6 producing an impressive 290 horsepower and 252 pound-feet of torque. Let's go ahead and see what that engine looks like and then hear how it sounds. So this is it, the 3.3 liter V6. I can tell you from experience of just driving this car around a little bit, this car goes. Considering it's so big, it's got quite a bit of power at 290. You know, relatively speaking, a lot of cars in its class have even less power, which make them more sluggish, meaning that this if you want it to be, it will be more fun. Let's hear how it sounds. Now that we've heard how the engine sounds, let's go to the back and get a big old SUV exhaust clip. Now that we've gone over the exterior, heard how the engine sounds, gotten that main exhaust clip, let's go on out, head for a drive, and see what this thing's all about. Let's roll. So now that we're inside and we're driving the Kia Sorento SXL, let's go over a few different features that this car has. Now one of the main features, obviously with any car, is the engine. Now this is a 3.3 liter V6 engine producing 290 horsepower and 252 pound-feet of torque, as I said before. Now, for such a large SUV that weighs incredible amounts of, you know, weight, it moves. So, you know, I'm in comfort right now, and in comfort mode, it's very soft. And I'll go over the different drive modes a little bit later on. But for now, let's put it into sport mode. Let's see how well this thing takes off. Now, it is a little bit slippery out, so I want to be careful. 
I'm gonna find a dry patch right up here and just like that. Now that is pretty quick considering that this is such a large SUV that has such an enormous you know, presence, if you will, on the road. Now it's not the same sort of presence that you're gonna get with the likes of Land Rover cars and Porsches, but it's definitely a big heavy car and people notice you out there. Now along with that engine is the brand new eight speed automatic transmission. Now I can tell you that this thing shifts extremely seamlessly when you're in automatic mode. If I'm in comfort and I'm just driving normally, especially in the city, it shifts without you even knowing. It's so quick, it's so easy, that it just, you don't even know that it's there. It's very seamless. It almost feels like a CVT the way that it, you know, it shifts so seamlessly. But if I throw it into manual mode, obviously this car does not have the paddles. Pretty quick, considering that, you know, like I said, it's a massive family SUV with seven seats. So now we've gone over the engine and the transmission a little bit in the Kia Sorento. Let's go ahead and talk about how this car drives. Now obviously it's huge. This is the SXL, meaning that it has extra length in the back. Now it has an extra two seats. Like I said, it's a little bit longer and therefore it is huge. It is a massive SUV and considering that it is so big and you know, it has decent power and stuff, it drives incredibly well. You know, super smooth, especially in this model, we have these beautiful, you know, dark tan leather seats that just feel amazing. They're so soft. The suspension is really subtle, and I like that because we roll over these bumps, and especially right now because it's winter time and there's a lot of snow on the ground, you don't feel any of it, which is really nice and something that I look for. You know, if I'm gonna buy an SUV, I wanna make sure that it can handle exactly what it's going into. That's a big thing about these cars, and Kia has nailed it, so good job, you guys. Now I'd like to talk about how the Kia Sorento SXL handles. Obviously, huge SUV, but we're gonna throw it some corners, see what it's like, we'll put it into sport mode. Obviously gonna be a little bit careful, it is pretty wet outside. Let's see how it does. I'm expecting a lot of body roll, that's for sure. There's quite a bit of body roll. That's what you would expect from a car like this. It's not gonna be a corner cruncher. It's, you know, it's a family car. This is, without a doubt, a perfect car for a family. Got that extra row in case you need some friends to come along, your kids have some friends, whatever you may need. And if you fold those down, you have incredible cargo space, which means that you can fit hockey bags, soccer bags, dance bags, all that stuff in the back, and carry five people extremely comfortably but then again, it's not a sports car. Another cool aspect about this, as well as the Hyundai Santa Fe, is the digital display right in the middle. So on the left and on the right, so on the left you have a normal analog uh, tachometer, which reads your RPMs. Obviously not a very important factor in this car. On the right side you have your fuel gauge, as well as your engine temperature gauge. Now in the middle, that's where all the cool digital stuff happens. It's absolutely wonderful in here. I love the layout. Everything is ergonomically friendly. It's just wonderful. So now let's run through the fuel economy on the Kia Sorento SXL. Now the key there is that this is extremely huge. I've said that over and over again. I'm gonna keep saying it. This thing is massive, but it gets surprisingly good fuel economy considering how big it is. So in the city, you're gonna to expect to average about 12.5 liters per hundred kilometer, which, like I said, keep in mind that this car is so big and it's got a bigger engine. 12.5 is an acceptable average. On the highway, you're gonna get about 9.8. 9.8 is an extremely good number to get on the highway when you have such a big SUV. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. If you have any questions about this vehicle or any vehicle in specific, make sure to drop a comment as well down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We look forward to seeing you next video.